I thought Mr. Canella going down to D.C. to interview Mr. Kotz, the Inspector General of the uh, SEC, was very impressive. He asked some very pertinent questions. And to be honest with you, some of the answers were a bit disturbing. I don't think the SEC have uh, retirees and seniors' uh, interests at best heart, and they have no ability to enforce anything. I think it's right that our journalists need to go down and ask these same questions and publicize it in the newspapers and other type of media. It was ballsy. And I'm, I loved it. I like someone who's direct. I like someone who does not give a status and even break. When I heard the interviews, it blew my mind that he would even entertain the thought of, of, of interviewing someone at that high level of government. And I really, on, on the one hand, was a little ticked because you know, that interview really should have been handled by a Lou Dobbs or, or someone with you know, far greater journalistic media experience and press but then at the other hand I said you know who are the advocates left in the industry that are advocating for the consumer advocating for the retirement uh, people you know facing retirement who, who are the advocates um, and many 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 in our industry are not advocating anything they're just ostriches with their heads in the sand. When Mr. Canella interviewed Mr. Kotz and they showed us the video um, it was incredible to find out that the SEC feels like it can't police the securities industry because it doesn't have the funding or the manpower and, and these people are kind of run amok and uh, the inmates are running the prison.